but you guys will uh, hear more of that later on. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other shout outs or anything else. Just big up all the, the, the listeners, the watchers. Um, big up the construction crew. I know my construction crews, my carpentry crews, they're out there watching, paying attention. Uh, and yeah, fuck. Go watch my last episode with Chris Guy. Yeah, episode uh, 60. We're going to get that fixed up. Friday was, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was an outbreak, but don't worry. But yeah, episode 60. Uh, and yeah, let's just get into some news, I guess. Yeah, let's do it, man. I don't know. You're looking at your phone, so you kind of like threw me off there. I see you. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, oh. I'm just catching up because we were on road, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Like we were just honestly, like literally, just came from a performance, a concert, and we came in and we we're just like, "Fuck, let's just pot for a little bit before we go home." So, but um, the first thing I wanted to get into what I seen. Um, big up to man like Pedro, and I seen that he got to uh, a million views for his song movie. Mm. And, and you know, congratulations to him, regardless of whatever. That um, for for Toronto scene, it helps Toronto. Even though people might not like the shit, it helps Toronto. But what I seen that was pretty interesting. I don't even get that, but. <laughs> And yo, big up the Hood Six. The Hood Six has been doing like the, the and the War in the Six. They've been really doing um like behind the scenes, helping me like trying to get my, my page and shit. So I really appreciate the fuck out of those guys. But yeah, it looks like uh Pedro and Killy taking jabs at each other. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if this because I'm I believe in the the academic stream something happened right because if I'm correct. Killy came in and then I don't know if somebody said something or no no and this is just my assumption because I think when, when Killy came in it was all up right mm. I don't even remember him even popping in for even that long yeah he came in but there was one thing that was said during that time where he was like these Toronto artists um the reason that they're that they're they're washed or there's something that they're not the reason that they're not popping is because they're not they're not they're not doing I guess the op shit or they're not getting with the GGs or whatever. Mm. He's like, look at man like Killy, he's washed and he and he used that word right. Yeah. But like if you know he's like for him to get back hot, he needs to start doing songs with the GGs and the Wassas and guys like that, right? And because we were having an argument about you know not have or the, the discussion about not needing to have oppy songs to become successful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he was using Killy as an example, he said the man's washed now. But so maybe I don't know if that's where he took offense to. Now going back to that though, he's kind of wrong because Killy didn't use the oppie shit to be to get successful. Now to stay relevant is two different things from being successful. Facts. He might not be relevant right now because he's not putting out music or anything. And I'm not like I'm. Yeah, I, relevant might be the word. I think. Yes. I didn't. I don't think "wash" is the word. Yeah, because I, I, I can be straight up. Like I'm not the biggest Killy fan. Like I don't listen to his music or anything. But I do see when he drops music, that shit does numbers. People go crazy for the shit. But to say he's not um, successful is like, yeah, that's different. To say you're washed and even that, like. I don't know, man. It's just these terminologies. Like, people have to understand the music industry, bro. Like, it's not that easy to stay relevant 24-7. We were just talking about this with wrestling. Like, shout out, man. Like, CM Punk. He's back in AEW. Uh, Vince. He signed with the Ops, Vince. He signed with the Ops, Vince. I think Vince is a Virgo, too, by the way. You guys having a wrestling moment. He's a, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. If a wrestler can stay relevant, like, look how long the man hasn't been wrestling or doing anything for years. He comes back and he gets what wrestling terms, the biggest pop from a crowd that I've heard in years, my G. That's crazy. So some of you artists could look at the wrestlers, <laughs> like you guys are already in the WWE as it is, but like you guys should look at them because they find ways to still stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you're when it's your time, you get ovations like I, I, I was playing for you. But to say that, I don't know. But yeah, getting back to the jobs though. So Killy said, and shout out to Hood Six um, that posted it in the story. So he put in the story. I was just about to ask where it is, and I was like, "Why am I asking this stupid ass question?" Hood Six, man, only one. He's working hard as hard as. But yeah, Killy, I can never be a clown in this clout circus. Don't get lost in the hype. Killy's, Killy's, Killy's dropping some bars, and Pedro um, sent back. He just mad. He lost his hype. Non relevant. Now that's more better to say, non-relevant. 
puts yeah, that up there on the back. So yeah, that's that that would be more. But again, like the hip hop term of, of music and being relevant is so weird because, like for for an example, if you do any other music, <coughs> Taylor Swift takes time off. They're not gonna say she's not relevant. They're just gonna say she's taking time off. R- Rihanna. But I guess Rihanna's different because Rihanna's staying relevant because people are expecting an album from her. Yeah, she has the Fenty clothing line and all that shit too, right? She just keeps on having W's on yeah, top so of Ws. I guess W's. that's a little bit different. So she stays in the news cycle for her W's. So that's the thing now because, and we're going to get into it a little bit more. As a Toronto artist, it's hard to stay relevant and doing things because what else are you going to do? You can sell merch, you can do little things, but is it going to be as big and as relevant? Mm. Toronto audience likes fuckery. So if you're not doing fuckery, technically they're not going to be paying attention on a higher level. Yeah. I don't even know what to do when it comes to stuff like that because like he, you know, they could just continuously put out good music, but like the industry has all these stupid little tricks to keep people relevant even when it's not the op shit. You know, fake relationships, all types of stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the industry already does publicity stunts for artists to like gain relevancy or keep their relevancy. So fake beefs. I know it's going to a little bit oppy, but like fake beefs. Yeah. Fake whatever, fake um rumors or whatever it may be. They they uh, Joe was talking about the Lizzo thing. I think mm-hmm. that's like the whole situation with her, like I love Lizzo, but it just it just does look left that you're supposed to be you're this big big woman. You're this big star and you're always promoting all oh, like my size and this and that and a third and look how I'm how I am at this. Yeah, body positivity. Yeah, but then you know you're crying and now it's like, okay, now you can't deal with it. So it's just like, huh? Like, is, is this the, is this how you get the new fans now? Like, is that the game you're trying to play? I don't know. But as a Toronto artist, it, it seems like it's very hard, especially when your Toronto artists are so young and they're so focused on fuckery. So it's like, what do I do to stay relevant when I'm not dropping music? Do I do I hop into a do a music video? Do I like or do I hop into a relationship? Like what do I do? Like I had a yes. behind the scenes a conversation with somebody with Chromas. Like does Chroma what is Chromas doing? Like I love I love Chromas to death, but like it's true. It's like I don't think she'll ever fully fall off. Hmm. But musically, it's just like, okay, hon, like, you know what I'm saying? What what's up? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we need something. No, and I know it's I guess we're getting really I don't want to get too deep, but I guess we should. She can fall off. People can fall off. Not just promos, oh, yeah. but people can fall off if they don't stay in front of people's eyes. Out of sight, out of mind in these days and times. That mystique thing where it's like you just disappear and then you come back when you want. Them times is dead. People don't do that shit no more. It only works for a certain set of people and everybody else, the new people that come behind them, don't get that li- that privilege anymore. But I think because she's not like, she's she's beautiful to look at. Yeah, I think that's why she'll work. Like, she can go away and she's still young. So mm-hmm. she can go away for a year or two and totally repackage her shit and still be relevant. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, she yeah. could do that. But right now, does she need to hook up with somebody? Does she need to get a ghostwriter like people always say? Does she need to just... I just think she needs to drop more music. Like, she did promise... I think if she did what she said in the interview earlier this year, I think she would have been fine. Dro- she would be dropping a music video every other week or every two, three weeks. I think that she would it would have been hard to fuck with her, bro. Because who else is doing that? Yeah. She didn't do it, whatever COVID, whatever the situation is. But I think she would have been she would have been relevant. More relevant. Because she still is relevant. People are still talking about her. They're bringing up the track with books, her plot maybe robbing him, whatever. It, 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 she's relevant. Oh <laughs> God damn, did I just say that on the mic? No, it's on it's on Instagram anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a police, don't worry, Regin. Oh yeah, well, shout out to Killian and fucking Five. Hold what on, because <laughs> I know I can see you wanted to want to go. <laughs> Killy, just let's, let's stay there for a quick second. Yeah, yeah. You remember when he was hot on the scene? I do. Right, he had different things going on besides his music, Kilimanjaro, and different tunes, but he also had a beef with Lil Xan. Yeah, you're right. That was a big that, thing. That was that a push. fucking big deal at the time. Like he, the man was saying whatever he was, and Lil Xan was popping at the time. So every time he keeps on mentioning him, it added more light on to Killy. Killy. And then when he finally ran up on him, um, allegedly, um, at, the, <laughs> at the spot the over there in Van yeah, yeah. City, you know what I mean? That was an, an extra added moment. So he had like, it made more people stream his music. 
Oh, you're right. Still, so who knows? I want to see the both do a track to, against each other. Maybe that's what he might need to start just aiming at five. Yeah, just go at five, fam. Because I don't know. I, me personally, and I don't want to get too mixy, but You're such fuck real answers. Yeah, I'm fucking answers. <laughs> well, well, if it's music, I'm cool with it. Why not? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Yeah, we're, we're encouraging the music. Diss each other on 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 tracks and shit like that. I was going to say for five, just leave out Killy's dead homies because I know you're gonna find. Oh, yo, yo, yeah, dude. don't get too disrespectful. Don't do that, five. Just be like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spin the block and Killy gonna get done and blah 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 and whatever you're gonna do, five. You know what I'm saying? Hairline gang. 